On Friday night, Elgin visited Larkin to renew their crosstown rivalry. Both teams came in at 2-2, two and two, but the Maroons had won the last six meetings against the Royals, including a trio of lopsided games a year ago. Fans from both sides were ready for another heated contest. Elgin's Tom Roth got the Bruins going early and out to a 7-3 lead with his three-pointer. Larkin's Jeff Sauerbaugh would then cap a 5-0 Larkin run with his jumper. Meanwhile, Roth would continue what would turn out to be a career scoring night with this three. Terrell John gets the put back here. He finished with nine points and seven boards. Sauerbaugh's lay-in would stake the Royals out to a 14-12 lead after one. The Maroons would continue to rely heavily on Roth for offense, and he would oblige, lifting the Maroons to a six-point lead early in the quarter. But Larkin would respond. This three by Drew Simonini knots things up at 20 with just over three minutes left. Ryan Smith then drills one from behind the arc to put Larkin up four with 2.11 left. But Roth would counter a three of his own. Followed by this running jumper that would tie the score at 25 at intermission. Larkin would get a little breathing room in the third. Sauerball knocks down three of his 16 points here. Then on a fast break, Simonini takes it inside to put the Royals up six with just over four minutes left in the third. Elgin's Tim Newcomb hits a jumper here. The Bruins trail by four heading into the fourth. Once again, Roth asserts himself, picking up the foul in the process of hitting the jumper to bring Elgin to within two. But the three ball keeps dropping for Larkin. Smith hit five on the night and finished with 19 points. Elgin would tie things up at 46 with 5.14 left on this triple from Mike Richard. But Larkin would pull through. Smith dishes it to Simonini who nails a three from the corner. Then in an almost exact replay, Simonini connects again, putting Larkin up 55 to 50 with 2.04 left. He totaled 11 points on the night. Roth wouldn't go quietly, netting two more of his 35 points. But the Royals maintained their composure, made their free throws, and as Brandon Cooks does here, capitalizes on some outlet passes. Cooks finished with 10 points at 11 boards. Larkin wrapped up the victory 66-60 to snap a six-game skid against Elgin. Fans stormed the court to show their appreciation for the big win. And even Mob Simonini during a post-game interview. Good passing all around. We played a good game. Uh, we're ready to win more games. Yeah, I mean, that many guys that can shoot, I mean, it's hard to guard all of them, all of us, and then uh, everyone stepped up, and we have confidence in everyone to make the big play. Oh, it's great. I mean, uh, last year we lost all three, and this is the loudest I've heard this gym in a couple of years since Davon and Carlos have been here. I mean, it was, the atmosphere was great. So that's, that's the best win I've been around. I told him before the game, I said, this is the most prepared I've seen a Larkin team uh, as far as attitude. They were upbeat, they were positive, they were friends, there was camaraderie. And I told them that. I said, hey, I, that's the best I've seen a team react before a game here, since I've been here. I put a little too much pressure on Tommy, asked him to do too much. Um, we, I, we need some other players to step up and, and provide the same type of energy and some scoring uh, that, that Tom gives us. I just think they hit a couple clutch shots down the stretch and we did. We, and we missed some free throws we don't normally miss. For the Courier News, this is Andy Rohr.